Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a DXF file for your fins. Um, a DXF file is really important to have if you want to laser cut your fins or centering rings because that's what the laser cut that's the file that the laser cutter uses. So let's get started by looking at the dimensions of the fins that I've drawn. So right now my fins have a root cord, a tip cord, height, and sweep length dimensions. I also have fin tabs, so we're, so we're going to draw fin tabs in over in Fusion 360. So let's get started on our drawing so that we can create that DXF file. So we're going to hit this sketch button right here and hit create sketch. You can pick any plane you want to start your sketch and I'm going to hit the XY plane. Doesn't really matter though. Um, I'm going to use the pan button to move this the origin over. Um, over here so I, that I can draw my whole fin in the sketch right here. This is the zooming in and out button. These are just some buttons that I use frequently. Um, and then we're going to draw the fins. I'm going to draw the fins with kind of how it looks like over here without dimensioning it first. Um, we'll dimension it after so my fins kind of look like this. I'm going to go over here. My fin has fin tabs, so right now I'm drawing the tabs. I want to make sure it's 90 degrees. And bloop. Okay, so my fins kind of look like that, right? So now let's dimension it so that it, we can get our fins perfectly for the flight. Um, see right now this line is highlighted, this line tool. If you hit the escape button, oops hit the escape button it will escape out of this so you can select a new tool or you can just click here go down the sketch dimension and start dimensioning the fins so let's start off with the root cord so the root cord is the fin and where it lies on the body tube which is right here right so we are going to dimension that to 5 inches because that's what I have designed my fins to. You're just going to click on those two points and for me I'm going to hit 5 inches because they are 5 inches long. I'm going to hit the escape button and show you guys something. This line can move up and down which is not good because as you can see here the root lies on the same line, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to click on this line hit control and select this other line. That's just selecting both lines at the same time. And then we're going to hit this collinear constraint. And now those two root lines fall on the same line. All right. Now let's dimension the tip cord. The tip cord is this line right here of the fin. So we're going to go down, hit dimension. This D right here stands for it's the shortcut, so you can hit D to also use this tool, but we'll just go here for now. So we're going to dimension the tip cord, which I have as 1.5. So I'm going to type in 1.5 inches. Alright, that's the tip cord. It's starting to look a little funky now, but we're going to fix that up. Now let's look at the height. The height is 2.181 inches. So we're going to dimension in the height. That height is from the root cord to the tip cord and that is 2.181 inches in my design. All right, so now we have the height. Let's look at the sweep length. So the sweep length is 1.75 inches. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna hit dimension. The sweep length is the front, kind of towards the front of your fin. You're gonna click on this point, and then you're gonna click on this point right here. Oops, let me try that again. There we go. So see how it kind of goes vertical, kind of goes diagonal. The sweep length is this horizontal portion right here. So make sure that when you're dimensioning it, it's not diagonal, it's not vertical, it's horizontal right here. And mine is set as 1.75. That is the sweep length. All right, so here, it, most of my fin is almost done. All we have left is the fin tab. Now the sweep angle is from this line over to your leading edge. This is called the leading edge of your fin. 
Um, right, but right now I'm not going to put that in because it's already constrained. If I put that in, it's over constrained, which means there's too many dimensions on the fin. But um, I can show you guys that if I put a line there and I dimension it, it'll say 38.7. It might round up to 39. Oh, nope, it says 38.7. If I click on it, it says it's over constrained, so we can't do that. That just means we already constrained our fins as much as we can. Anyway, so I double checked. The sweep angle was 38.7. So let's go over to fin tabs. All right. So the tab length. This right here is the tab length. That's how long your tab is going to be. So let's dimension that to 2.79 inches. Okay. And the tab height is from the root cord up to this line right here. So you can just click on this line and it says that it is, I have it as 0 0.7 inches. All right, awesome. We're almost done. So now let's look at the tab position. This is where your tab sits along your fins. It might sit up here, it might sit back over here. But according to this, the tab position is negative 1.21 relative th to the root cord trailing edge. So this line is your leading edge, and this line is your trailing edge. Kind of makes sense, the trailing bottom of the fin. So what we're going to do is we're going to dimension this point right here. This is your trail root cord trailing edge. So this is on your root cord, and this is your trailing edge. This is where it meets up all the way to the tab. And we know that that is going to be 1.21 inches. And there you go. This is what my fin is going to look like. So now we can hit stop sketch, go over to our sketch one, right click it, and save it as a DXF file. I'm going to save it as fin example one. I have something named that al already when I was testing it, so I'm just going to override that. So there we have our fin. Um, I'm going to use that file four times over on the laser cutter. Uh, since I have four fins, sometimes you use it three times. But just ask the TAs over there if you don't know what you're doing, and they'll help you. There is a PowerPoint on the laser cutter that can help you out, though. And that's it. You have your DXF file.